Last week I went to start my hydraulic ram pump and was having a really hard time getting it to cycle. My first thought was that uh, these 245s were um, so sharp that it was reducing the pressure wave and causing the pump to stop. But uh, my friend Mike made an observation that uh, having such a long horizontal pipe here and then this sharp drop, there is likely a pocket of air stuck here somewhere along this section that is preventing the pump from working. And I believe he's right. So uh, let me show you why real quick. You probably can't hear the difference, but I can. When I tap here, it seems like it's uh, full of water. When I tap here, it seems like it's hollow. So my guess is right here where this 45 degree elbow is, there's a pocket of air. So when the pump cycles, the uh, water splashes into that pocket of air and it kills the pump. So uh, what I'd like to do is cut out both of these 45s and replace it uh, with at least one of these 22 and a half. But I'd like all of this pipe, the horizontal pipe, to be pushed down. So uh, let's do that and see if this fixes the problem. I just drained the bucket intake and now I'm going to pull out the screws here that are holding this to the flume. Okay, there's one. I'm going to want to reuse these here in a bit. Okay, and I've got a hacksaw hopefully with a sharp blade on it. And I'm just gonna cut out this 45 here. Hmm, may have to pull a few more of these uh, supports off to get to it. Okay, let's try this again. You know, it probably would help if I opened up the ram pump and let this water out. Now that I have those 45s cut off, I'm going to remove more of these braces here and see if I can get the pipe down lower. At this point, I have dropped it down off of this board here so it can head downward. And I think that will give it a, uh, a negative slope the whole way down to the pump. So, with that being said, I'm gonna start uh, moving back up here and uh, getting this pipe supported back to the flume. Well. Just got the pipe where I want it down here. Time to put this together with some cement. So. Okay, that should do it there. Let that set for just a moment. Just got everything back together. Those 22 and a half degree elbows have worked out perfectly. Just a slight uh, upwards bump there, but if you look at it, it definitely uh, quickly goes back uphill. So I don't anticipate any issues with uh, capturing an air bubble right there. So the next step is to turn it on and see what happens. I've seen a number of different ram pump intakes, but this one seems to be working well. I've had many people ask, am I gonna put a lid on this? And the answer is yes. Um, but I'm just, right now, this is all just testing phases. So uh, as you can see, no lid. Okay, let's see if it's easier to purge the air out of the line this time. So I've got a stick, I'm gonna hold this valve open. So far the line seems to be pretty clear, so I'm going to tap this a few times and see if I can get it to run on its own.
check it out. Seems to be working. My guess is there's probably two things going on. The main one was that uh, air bubble that was uh, causing the water to stop at that point and only going, what, 10 feet? So uh, thank you so much, Mike, for pointing that out. Definitely a big help. And uh, there may have also been some reduction in power based upon the uh, steepness and the angles of those 45. So I think this setup is already much better. If you're in the market for a hydraulic ram pump, check out my website, Land to House. I have four different sizes from half inch all the way up to one and a quarter. So uh, check those out. Thank you for watching. And uh, as always, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share to your social media accounts. I'm Seth Johnson with Land to House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.